So I'm having to drive probably three and a half, four hours to hunt now. See in the Wellington region, they've just dropped fucking 1080 everywhere. Dropped in most of the Tauruas, the Rimutakas and the Aurangis. I mean the Rimutakas at the moment, it's just been pre-fed but they might be doing it now because it's the first good day for months. So, forced to go further. Right, set up camp. Yeah, all ready to go. I'm gonna grab all my kit. It's a time. Head out for the next few hours. See if we can get on to something. Good thing the wind's straight up my ass. sit for the afternoon there's some hunters over the back where I wanted to sit but they must have came in and dropped over when I was down in that gut that's alright that's how public land hunting goes I guess but it's some pretty good country that I'm looking at now so I better get the glass in Thirty, so I better get my shit together. Finish my coffee. Thank you. Let's get out for a hunt. There's got to be a deer out here somewhere. Trying to warm up. Go. It's three or four deer just sunning themselves. After last night, because it got fucking cold. Probably two hinds and a yearling. Three hinds, maybe. 600 yard shot. But my 223, I'm only good out to about 250. Chase those deer. <sighs> Gotta cruise this face, dropping it around. Come on, Everett, come on. There's your way out there. All right. <clears throat> Bugger. About 340 yards now. Took me about 45 minutes. Two more deer. Put on a big open rocky face this time. But too far away for me again. The ones I went to go back to get. I waited for an hour and a half. Just come back out. Oh, well. Ooh wee, finally some fucking sun. It's been raining for about two months. So it's good to get out in the sun, but last night would have been one of the coldest nights I've spent in the bush. I reckon it got to about negative three, negative four. It said negative five, but I don't know, that wind chill would have been definitely more than that. But yeah, we saw probably 10 deer this morning. I couldn't fucking close the gap on them though. Went, well, I closed the gap on those first three. And then when I got to where I was about to shoot, it was, they were gone, so. I pushed back up to where I was glassing from previously, another hour and a half up. It's 
sure enough, I glass back and they're there again and there's more there, so I mean I'll be back. I've, I've just got the 223 on my back, so I'm just building a long gun, so once I've done that, you sleep, look at that view. I mean, there's snow up on the mountains. It's a westerly, so that's probably why it was so fucking cold. Good to get out though, haven't been out in like two months. That weather's shocking. Hopefully come spring and there'll be a shitload of deer around because there's been fuck all people out. So yeah, back to camp. Alright. Back to camp. This is the uh, QU2P Storm Star or Mountain Star. Not too sure what one it is. Mountain Star, I'm pretty sure. That's the new design with the sleeve poles. Good girl. So, that logo is the head end. Yeah. So, I've been using it now for probably, probably two months. I've had in the bush for probably five, six days. Me and a couple of the mates did a culling mission on a farm and two of us stayed in there. There's two of us and two dogs. So yeah. It's real good in the wind like last night. It was a uh what's that? Northwest northwesterly kind of straight through here. So I pegged that down. He wrapped those around the poles and it's fucking steady. <coughs> um when we were out on that culling mission it rained for 10 hours on one of the nights from about 5 till the morning maybe even longer and the only thing with two of us and two dogs in there it did condensate a little bit which is to be expected but um, we never got wet what the hell spewing up what the fuck anyway the uh Trump map? See that salami. So <clears throat> that logo is the head end, but I had it around the wrong way today. So it's real good in the wind and in the rain. You want to zip these when there's two of you in there? Like that. And during the day. You just clip it up so it can either dry or air out. So last night it was just me and the dog. It's nice and messy in there, but it fits two beds and the vestibules on both sides fit everything from packs, bears, fucking you name it. So for two guys and two dogs, it, it's functional. <coughs> and you can see in the wind, it's real windy. Well, not at the minute, but it's a bit of draft, but just it's rock solid. So we're good in summer and shit when we do these tops trips, we can use it. Um, for one guy, it's real spacious. They've got a lot of tie-up points. So in the heavy, heavy wind, you can either put a trekking pole on that and come down, or I'll, in, uh, when we're up on the tops or in heavy winds, I'll bloody... Uh, just tie those out with the guide points. You can guide it out there. There's two more at the back, but I didn't need it because it was a nor'wester. So yeah, I mean they're fucking expensive. They're a thousand dollars, but I'd definitely buy it again. So if you're looking for a tops tent for two guys, and it's lightweight, I think it's well semi lightweight, 1.8 kilos. So, but for two guys, it's fucking good. Real functional. You can see how the how solid it is. The sides are moving, but the whole structure is not. It's only because I got those doors open. It's literally rock solid, and that's all I wanted. So, just a quick review on it. Two guys fit easy. So, and it seems to be a real waterproof. Two guys. It's snug, but they fit in here. See, look at that. It's windy as the doors are flapping about, but the structure. 
prop was up and on. So you can see. So. See now it's zipped up. And it's still windy. You can just hear that wind whipping through here. It's rock solid. Especially if you guide out those sides, because that wind's sort of coming that way. And I've done it for that way. Yeah, I mean, the wind got up a hell of a lot more last night, but it was fucking, it was solid air, so. Merrick! What's my dog at? We doing, Gil? Come on. Back up 10 and go home. Come here. Come on. We doing? Right, Mav. Good girl. One thing I'll say about this QU tent is that this stuff sack is a piece of shit. Fuck sakes. Gets to about here. You've got a fucking needs a bit of stuff sack. But other than that. Can't fault that design, eh? The Mountain Star 2P. Fucking awesome. <laughs>